And welcome to part five of my Perusing My 7-Inch Collection series, where I go through a box of these 7-inch vinyl singles uh, uh, each time, each video, and I have probably 10 or 12 of these filled with 7-inch uh, vinyl that I've been collecting all my life. I haven't really looked at them in a couple of years, so I like to go through them one by one with you guys. Uh, and uh, so let's see what, what we got here. Um, one thing I have not mentioned in past videos, I keep forgetting, is among these 10 or 12 boxes, there are boxes with just certain bands, uh, you know, specific segments of bands. So, uh, for instance, in my A, B, C, D uh, boxes, you'll notice there's no Devo because Devo is in totally separate boxes. There's no Dickies because the Dickies is in a separate box and uh, Anti-Scene. All these bands that I kind of collect religiously are, are stored in separate boxes. So a lot of what I've been going through so far is just A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I sections, you know, various bands mixed together. Now this box here does have a couple of sections of just specific bands. So this is the PQR part two through, I believe, some S's. Uh, so let's do it. And again, this is the first time I've seen these in a couple of years at least. Okay, this first one is by a friend of mine whose name is Rene Escarcha. He goes by the name Ren Elvis when he performs. And he's a Filipino Elvis impersonator. He also does his own music. Uh, this is a seven inch single. I believe the only seven inch single he ever put out called Lisa. It's about his daughter, Lisa, who I believe was um, born with Down syndrome or some similar thing, and he's been caring for her for many years, and uh, this was put out by Wifflefist, uh, or distributed by Wifflefist, the, the weird underground label that I, um, me and some friends ran out of our house in the 80s and 90s. So, that's pretty cool. I think there's two versions of this. Oh, yeah. There's a pink cover and a black and white cover. Really hard to find kind of uh, very strange stuff. I'm going to take some records out of the back here so I can more easily sort through these. Okay, much better. Okay, we got some Renee. Ah, uh, Residence. The Duck Stab EP. Residence. Everybody knows the Residence. They're fantastic. That's the Duck Stab EP. What else do we got in here? Oh, yeah. Look at this one. Residence Picture Disc. Their, uh, their trademark eyeball. Ralph Records. This is the white single. Really cool. I'm glad I have that one. Oh, here's a really great one. Man's 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 World Residence. Let's see what the back looks like here. Oh. Yeah, featuring Snake Finger. Snake Finger was down with the Rezies. There's another resonance, Kalinga, Kaliga. Look at that, it looks like somebody cut that hole themselves in the record, doesn't it? Looks like maybe it used to have a, a small seven inch hole, but somebody cut it to be big. I haven't seen that very often. Oh, here's a resonance flexi disc that came with Reflex Magazine. They're a live discomo stuff oh, that's that's cool i forgot i had that buy or die here's a uh, ralph records compilation featuring residents and other bands Pretty cool oh this is a this is a rare one this is an italian promo single for um from the plains to mexico that's pretty cool. I mean, I haven't thought about this one in a while. I wonder what that's worth these days. Pretty nice. Oh, right, here's a local band. I believe they were from Raleigh. They were called Rizal. Some punk stuff. Let's see, is this a split? Or is this a... No, this is all Rizal, I think. Oh, no, it is a split. Blown Apart Bastards and Rizal. I haven't listened to that in a long time. I can't remember what that sounds like. Here we go. Let's see, what's this? That's the residence. Oh, Rico. Oh, Rico was down with the whole two tone ska thing. And uh, yeah, this is cool. 
Play for drunks, it says. <laughs> Instrumental, Sea Cruise, interesting, upbeat, odd song. Play for drunks. I don't think I've ever seen that written on a record before. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh, this. I remember this. This is the Robert Delaney Radio Show. It was put out by a local label in North Carolina called Detox. See where it says go to hell and get it over with right there? Well, the story about this record, as I remember, is that it's a tape that somebody found, a cassette tape somebody found somewhere, and it's got two little kids or one little kid. I can't remember if it's one or two, but it's at least one little boy, and he's making up songs about people he doesn't like at school or whatever. Oh, it's so good. It's just a found recording of this some kid making up really dumb songs. I think one song's called You Little Asshole. Da -na 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 -na. Yeah, it's it's really, if you can ever find this, which man, I don't know. I'm gonna have to look this up to see how hard to find this is, but really great stuff if you're into found sound or just really random uh social uh mirror type of stuff. Rights reserved. I believe this was also a local band. I can't remember what they sound like. Probably some punk rock. Man, I can't remember. Oh, check this out. The Rock of Fire Explosion. One of those, like, mechanical animal bands. This is their birthday song. Oh, look at that guy. Heartaches featuring Duke. I guess that's Duke. Man, do you see that in your nightmares? Look at that guy. That's pretty cool. Yeah, the Rock of Fire Explosion. I wish they would get together for a reunion tour. That'd be cool. Run DMC, my Adidas. I love some Run DMC, and their seven inches are not easy to find. It's tricky, Run DMC. Yeah, I tried to see them on their Raising Hell tour, and they totally did not show up. Uh, we've sat through opening bands and a long wait, and then... Run DMC canceled. I don't know why, but we were all very not so happy about it. Clarence Reed. Now, y'all know Clarence Reed. You might know that he is also Blowfly, the original dirty rapper. He's got quite a history of writing some soul and disco and funk hits. Here's another one, Clarence Reed, Winter Man, on the Alston label. There's some stuff on the Alston label that I think is quite rare. Well, Clarence Reed stuff's pretty rare. Especially in good shape. Oh, yeah, more Clarence Reed, good old days. I used to do a Blowfly's website years ago. What is this? Prim. You know what? I think I remember something about this. I think I remember that somebody outside of a Devo show in San Francisco. Now, this is just off the top of my head, and I think this is what I remember, though. Somebody in San Francisco handed this record without a sleeve, plus... I believe it was some photos or some negatives of photos of Devo live in concert. Oh, man, I can't remember. But I think this was the weird record they handed to somebody. They handed it to a crew member and told the crew member to give it to me. And, of course, that's what happened, and uh, I can't remember what it sounds like. Now, here's a band from Ohio that I've loved for many years. I became friends with them. We started making music with them. Sockeye. Have you guys ever heard Sockeye? Because this stuff... This stuff will rot your mind. Great band, very prolific band. You'll see here that this whole section is all Sockeye and Sockeye-related projects. I mean, their songs, you know, what, how could I describe them? Immature, juvenile, often cacophonous, you know, punky, uh, just weird, drunk, punky, drunk, Weird, offensive, taboo, sockeye, man, they're, they're great. And, you know, members of sockeye, especially a guy named Matt, otherwise known as uh, Poopy, Poopy Necropond, he, uh, he's played the devotional uh, Devo fan convention for many years in various bands. Here's a split with Eeyore power tool, prayer tool. Um, sockeye did a lot of split seven inches. Here's another version of that with a different cover. They did a lot of split seven inches with people. Here's a guy making out with the letter four or number four. <laughs> yep, lots of sockeye. Here's Beefing Ting Ting EP. 
from Sockeye. Look at that great artwork. Great artwork. Landscape genitals. I mean, that's tattoo material there. So tattoo material. You throw like a girl, Sockeye seven inch. Yeah, you guys go ahead and Google Sockeye. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna either like it or hate it. I did some artwork for Sockeye for one of their albums. And uh, if you can find that, it's pretty hard to find. Look at the band names, band number names. Food, Yum Yums, Kiki Game, Poopy, and Kopi. Got a couple of those. Got another one of these. I wonder if it's a different vinyl. Yeah, it's probably a different colored vinyl than the other one. Now, this is a compilation featuring Sockeye, among other bands. Uh, Fossil Fuel, another uh, kind of offshoot of Sockeye. Knife Rock EP. 100% punk recordings, you guys. Beware. There's two, three people in this band. Gun, Knife, and the punk rock drum beat maker. Cool, huh? Yeah, Fossil Fuel is great. We had some great times, lots of laughs listening to this stuff uh, when I was in college and around that time. Four bands that had too much Metamucil. Sockeye on this. Oh, yeah, this is Volkswagen and Sockeye, I believe, split. Wait, Volkswagen and... Oh, no, it's, it's just Volkswagen. One band, Volkswagen. Another offshoot of Sockeye. Great stuff. Boy in Love. Another offshoot of Sockeye. The Pee Hole Sessions. Another one of those. Different cover. Dingus. I can't remember anything about Dingus. Dingus and Sloth. Number 44 of 100. Well, that's got to be rare. I can't remember what Dingus sounds like. Dick Panthers. I was in a band with this guy called Crapper Keeper. This is amazing stuff. Great guitar work. Really ridiculous uh, lyrics. Cauliflower, Ass, and Bob. Another offshoot of Sockeye. Sad as a hound dog. Twice as drunk. Yep, good stuff there. Breathalyzer, a metal offshoot of Sockeye. Great stuff. Dingus, again, I can't remember what Dingus sounds like. It's going to be silly. Sockeye. Looks like a, uh... oh yeah. Yeah, okay, 12 bands on this 7-inch. 12 stupid bands, 12 stupid songs, 7 stupid inches. Love it. Here's the uh, F. Rush Limbaugh record. Chicken Pharmaceuticals. It's got some kind of a... Uh, let's see what this is. I'll fold it up in here. Okay. Here's this. The videotape event of the year. I don't know why this is in there, but that's just how it goes with these releases. I just don't know. Okay, a bunch of artwork, lyrics, band stuff. Okay. Moving on now. Oh, look. There's an envelope that you can mail this stuff to Rush Limbaugh, I guess. <laughs> that's pretty good. All right, let's see. Where were we? Right here. What is this? Sheep Squeeze. Yet another Sockeye Offshoot project. Or is this a split? No, it looks like it's just Sheep Squeeze. There's some guys. Uh, okay. Here's another Cauliflower Ass and Bob. <laughs> beef a -roo Restaurant. Man, that's pretty good. And sloth. Mouthful of monkey bile. This is a, another compilation featuring Sockeye and other other bands. Oh, these, these have always been great. These Bliarg, Bliarg compilations. 41 bands on this 7-inch. 64 songs. I mean, look at all the bands. 
I mean, there's a lot of them. A lot. It's amazing. I love releases like this. slap -a ham Records. That's good stuff. I think there's another volume of, yeah, Son of Bliard. 52 bands, 69 songs. <laughs> That's amazing. Breathalyzer. And Cold Trust Fund. Great artwork. Another one of those. Here's a, here's a newer breathalyzer. I can't remember when this came out. I think it was fairly recently, though. Oh, Brody's Militia and breathalyzer. Okay, right, right, split. The Lettuce Vultures, another Sockeye offshoot. Another Lettuce Vultures. Folks, Whale and Sockeye split. That's an old one. Another Volks Whale. I wonder if this is a split. Nope, just Volks Whale on that one. Yeah, these are all, you know, if you like, if you end up liking Sockeye, you're going to want to uh, look them up and then look these other bands up. Now, here's a, a fake 7-inch that somebody in Sockeye made me because they knew I was a collector. Oh, listen, it's a Rabid Salesman, a band I was in, and Sockeye Split 7-inch that never existed. But there it is. Go figure. Black and Snapper. I can't remember what this sounds like. There's another one of those, another one of those. The TV Watchers. Another Sockeye offshoot with, with artwork by Dave from Sockeye, who also goes by the name... Um, 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 wow, what's his, what's his, what's his artist name? I can't remember. Is there an insert in here? No. I gotta remember his, uh, his artist name. Dave from Sockeye has a, a special name he uses for his art. Breathalyzer, again. Got a few of those. Oh, and here's, I think it's the first Volkswagen record that ever came out. We used to listen to these things a lot. We would, you know, I would tape them, put them all on a compilation tape. And then uh, we play them at parties. Often run people away. Okay, now this next section, this whole section here, it's all Zig Zig Sputnik. Do you guys know Zig Zig Sputnik? A band from the mid 80s. Uh, did F Love Missile F111. Um, that was a big hit. The guy from uh, Generation X, Tony James, was in the band. Um, but anyway, I'm a huge Sputnik collector and fan. So the first things I'm going to show you here are very, very rare, intensely rare. Five inch flexi discs from Russia, if you can believe that. Okay, five inch flexi discs from Russia, and look at all these. Okay, these are all I'll show you. For instance, um, let's just go with this one here Zig Zig Sputnik. Okay, and it's in a seven inch bag, but what you will see is, man, do I, is there one without a are these all in sealed? Yeah, they are. Oh, wait, here's one that's out of its package. Okay, so here's here's what you're dealing with here. They were originally just came in these little flimsy plastic things and a paper sleeve like this. And then inside the sleeve was this flexi disc, five inch flexi. I mean, amazing, right? I can't believe somebody made these. <laughs> I mean, there's so many of them. Just let me show you. Hold on. Uh, oh, this is Love Miss Left One. Oh, this one just doesn't have a sleeve. That's all. I'll have to put that in a sleeve. Okay, so let's go through them here. I think I got them out of order. Okay, Zig Zig Sputnik Sex Bomb Boogie 5 inch Flexi. It's blue. Zig Zig Sputnik Sex Bomb Boogie. Five inch flexi from Russia. Here's two different versions of the. Um, what song is this? What song is this? I can't tell because it's written in Russian. But 
yeah, two different covers of that. But five inch flexies. Oh, three, three different ones. Four, four different ones. Oh, they're all different colors. See, brown, yellow, clear. Yeah. Man, I can't remember how I got these. I think I traded somebody in Russia for these. Something. I can't tell what song that is either. Oh, Frankenstein, Cha Cha Cha. That's a great one. She's my man, five inch clear flexi. She's my man, yellow flexi. Teenage Thunder, red. Teenage Thunder, clear. Jane Mansfield by Zig Zig Sputnik, green. Well, that green looks cool. Uh, Crush Goove Girls, clear. Rebel Rebel, clear. Rocket Miss USA, clear. Rocket Miss USA, red. Amazing, though, right? Five-inch flexies. Have you ever seen such a thing? When I heard those existed, I couldn't believe it. Could not believe it. Okay, more Zig Zig Sputnik coming up. Love Missile F-111, their biggest single. Different pressings here. This one's autographed by Martin Degville, the singer. Uh, this is UK, I believe. Yep, UK pressing. Autographed. So oh, Sci-Fi Sex Stars. Uh, another name they went under. They did some secret shows, I think, under that name. After they started getting banned places, they um, they did shows under different names. That's a great one. There's also a 12-inch version of this that doesn't have the images censored. There's a Love Missile F-111 without a cover for some reason. 21st Century Boy. Great song, great cover. Look at that. Cross of TVs. It's amazing. What's on the back? All right, 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 right. Back of a Sony something television. And here is 21st Century Boy from... Where is that? What country is this from? Philippines. Yep, I was a huge collector. I mean, he was a Spain pressing. Huge collector. I would get every pressing that I could find. Italy. Mmm, test pressing. Sex Bomb Boogie. That's pretty cool. You don't find Zig Zig Sputnik test pressings very often. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so here's a, re a really great cover. The Vibrator Bullets... Uh, Sex Bomb Boogie cover. And then, look at all the... Okay, there's a promo of Love and Less Love 111. All right? There's a... Just look at the Japan pressing. Just tons. American. Probably UK there. Yeah, because it goes on and on. All kinds of pressings. Oh, there's a real boring Capitol Records pressing of it, but hard to find. What is on the other side of this? I'm going to say that there's something weird on the other side of this. No, Zig Zig Spotnik. I thought it was another band, but that's really weird. I don't even remember this one existing. I don't know if this is the right sleeve. No, it's not the right sleeve, but that record, it's a, it's a, it's a question for me. It's a question. Yep, lots of Love Miss Love 111s. Okay. Moving right along here. Get another stack of Sputnik here. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with Zig Zig Sputnik, you need to look him up. New Zealand pressing of Love Missile F-111. 21st Century Boy. Now, this cover is amazing. It actually folds out into that cross uh, that I showed you, the cross of TVs, and it's like a cross-shaped poster like this. It's amazing. I should actually probably get one of those framed one day. Oh, wait, I don't have any wall space left. But yeah, lots of uh, 21st Century Boy. Oh, the Japanese pressing looks cool, huh? Yeah, 21st Century Boy, great song. Lots of different pressings. Ooh, look at that one, the black text. What country is this? Don't know. I don't know what country that is. Oh, Canada. That's pretty cool. 21st Century Boy... Again, not in the right sleeve, I don't think. 
But um, is that a promo or something? Can't tell. But yeah, lots of Sputnik. Okay, a little more Sputnik to go. Just a little more Sputnik to go. What's this? Ah, this is framed somewhere, this, this cover. Because I believe uh, I had uh, Neil X sign it when I was hanging out with him at his apartment in London in, oh, I don't know, 2001, 2000, something like that. Yep, that one's framed somewhere. Oh, look, more of these. There's an Australian pressing, Australian promo, Massive Retaliation single, another Massive Retaliation single. Oh, J Japanese um, about pressing of success single. That was their second and final album. And then here's the Sputnik Aiken Waterman version of Success. Several different pressings of that. Different countries and such. And look, here's more pressings of that. More, 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 more. Madrid. Yeah, cool, lots of those. This is a pretty cool cover. Is it love? This is their song called Dancerama. And then the back is, I believe. No, it's not. There's also an Is, is It Sex uh, cover where these two characters are boning. This is the love cover. The sex cover, I believe, was a 12 inch version or the picture disc, maybe. And here is Albinoni versus Star Wars. Great song off their second album. And here is Rio Rocks. What country is this? Looks like Italy. Pretty cool though, promo. A vision of the future, Zig Zig Sputnik. Special radio edit of Rio Rocks. Here's another pressing of Rio Rocks, UK. Look at that crazy DJ promo, yeah. I'm so, I'm so turned on by that stuff. I don't know why. Now, this is a really obscure release. Rodham Carmen by the Bazette Boys, produced and probably written by uh, Tony James. I know at least produced by Tony James of Zig Zig Sputnik. But yeah, this is a very rare one. I think I may have even gotten this from Tony James. Well, I think one of these records has a mask like this in it. I don't know if it's the 12-inch. I don't think it was this 7-inch. No, no mask in this one. But I think one of the releases has a mask like that. Anyway, okay, so that was all the Sputnik. And there's one little section that we didn't do yet. At the very back of the box. And I believe this is all records by my friends in Sweden called Sator. They used to be called Sator Codex. Sator Codex. And... Um, they were on Radium label back then, and this was kind of punky, uh, kind of like one of the very first versions of pop punk that I ever came across. But they're really great. Some of their stuff leans a little towards metal, but they're fantastic, and they're very popular in Sweden. They're the kind of band where when they have a, a reunion or something, you know, MTV in Sweden will do a big thing on it. So uh, Sator Codex, a few different pressings of their first single and reissues this is another first pressing here or um, early 7 inch Sator Codex oh I can't show you the cover on that one censored that's another Sator Codex single called Oh Mama yep can't show you that one either Sator World oh this is a great song this is a great pop song right here pop rock song Sator 1980 1990 yeah this is a great one man I love this band, Sator. Hello, hello. It's good to be back. It's good to be back. Hello. Hello. I believe that's a Gary Glitter cover. Yeah, it is. Great stuff. Oh, yeah. This is the National Guard single, I think. Oh, wait, no, that was the B-side. Even as we speak. Oh, now, you can't see here, but this guy, Chips... He's the guy that I know the most in the band. He's wearing a shirt I gave him back in the day. Now, the shirt design is covered there, but it's actually got a picture of Mickey Mouse sitting on the toilet. I really wish they would have shown it <laughs> in this picture, but, but yeah, Mickey Mouse on a toilet shirt is what he's wearing. I think there's another promo picture of them on one of their albums from this time where he actually 
you can actually see what shirt he's wearing. Now, this is a split 7-inch with Sator and Gangbangers, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Forgot about that one. And here's a uh, I'm Gone. I love this song, I'm Gone. Well, I love all their songs, really, Sator, but I'm Gone. Oh, man, that's such a beautiful, great pop song. So, Sator. They um, are actually coming out with a, a record soon called Barbecue Killers. It's volume two of Barbecue Killers. They put out a Barbecue Killers in the early 90s, I believe, and it was all uh, cover songs of some of their favorite bands, punk bands. But the, the rule they made for themselves was that they would only cover songs that those bands had never officially released. Like, for instance... Uh, there was a you know a weirdos song a weirdos uh, the weirdos from LA a punk rock band and they there was a song they did that was only on like a live bootleg or it was something that they had you know somebody had only released a demo of so they were only covering songs by fairly well known punk bands that had never actually been released and they're doing that again real soon uh, it's taken them about twenty years to get the next <laughs> version ready to go if not more. Uh, but they say it's coming out soon, and I'm really excited about it. Okay, so that was box number five, everybody. I appreciate you guys watching. I would love for you to come back and see the next um, edition of this uh, series here, box number six. And like I said, there's boxes, a couple boxes that I'll, I'll end with that are typically all Devo or bands like Anti-Scene, The Dickies, Flock of Seagulls, uh, The Fix, bands that I really collect intensely. So all that's to come. I appreciate you guys watching. Take care. I'll see you next time.